Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Hello, Carolina. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm Todd Ellis. The Tigers are 11 0 and ranked number three in the country. They have won 26 straight games and five straight in the series, but we don't care. Carolina is 4 and 7 on the series, and injuries and some youth have led to a flat offense and consistent play, but we don't care. We come to Williams Bryce Stadium with the knowledge that we have beaten a top five team this season. And this rivalry has created some dramatic moments that can change a season. Clemson quarterback Trevor Lawrence and running back Travis Etienne lead the offense, averaging 45 points per game. The Tiger defense is also, again, in the top five in the country. But we don't care. As we call on williams Price Stadium to deliver some magic and the Gamecock Nation to take part in an atmosphere that is rarely seen to push through the Gamecock upset for the ages. The 117 all-time meeting offers little hope for the Gamecocks, but that is why we gather in November looking for the pride and fierce nature of the Gamecocks to will its way to victory. It's been a shitty fall. We've beaten South Carolina six times in a row. Number six. Number six. Number six. Second straight year. They will play Virginia next week in the ACC championship game. A ton of room here for ETN out of the backfield. ETN with room off the right side. Lawrence's pass to a wide open Ross. First down inside the 40 yard line. Nice job on the outside by Justin Ross on the little snag route. See that stack alignment. Nobody accounts for Ross as he works it back out to the sideline. It's an excellent call. Lynn J. Dixon in the game at running back, and he's going to get the call here inside the 30-yard line. Clemson, 26 consecutive wins, trying to get back to the playoff. Lawrence steps up, has a ton of room inside the 10, and Lawrence tackled inside the 5-yard line. He's a very good athlete who has seven rushing touchdowns this year after one all of last year. Now, this is the one part of his game that has been really good all season long. Nothing there. Sees the middle of the defense vacate because of the route progression. Clemson bringing some pressure here. They run Dowdle, and he gets maybe two. He'll throw it again here. It was deflected at the line of scrimmage and incomplete. Zelensky to throw on third down, and it's intercepted at the 40-yard line by Kendrick. And he brings it back inside the 25. Out route done. It's picked off at the 36. And that's Kendrick. It's got it. And the Tigers will take over on the first turnover of the day. It was thrown behind the intended receiver. And Darion Kendrick gets the pick. And runs it back inside the Carolina 25-yard line. They'll mark it at the 23. Yeah, had, a, had another guy in the coverage there, and I think that may have affected where he was going to throw it, but clearly not a well-thrown pass behind the receiver. The receiver didn't even make an effort at it because he didn't know where the ball was going. So kind of a tough play right there. God knows it, man. You remember a couple years back, too, when Jake Bentley was a true freshman? Never again. And he had his ups and downs, including what was a very one-sided performance against Clemson. His first opportunity to play Clemson, it went sideways. and went sideways quickly. Never again. Lawrence looking at that bunch formation. Here's a fade to the corner, and it's beautifully thrown to Higgins for a touchdown. Touchdown, Clemson. Ninth touchdown catch of the year for T. Higgins. Lawrence fade route into the back of the end zone. Caught. Touchdown, Tigers. T. Higgins in that back corner on J.C. Horn and Jamie Robinson. Perfect execution. The one spot he can hit. 
and the Tigers take advantage of the Carolina turnover. Yeah, just a well executed play by Higgins that time. It just a little push off there, but nothing dramatic and uh, good throw. So that's all I can say about it. Taking the direct snap here at quarterback. Looking for some running room, trying to get to the perimeter. Can't he has spun down for a loss by Isaiah Simmons. Edibles in his eighth year as the Clemson defensive coordinator, one of the best in the business. Let's get a throw here underneath. It's behind Markway. Third down and long. Only rushing three, and it's a screen that Clemson's Skolski reads beautifully. Takes down Feaster. Going to run it again. And ETN is close. Lawrence off play action, steps up, takes a shot downfield, going for Higgins, it's a touchdown! What a throw by Trevor Lawrence! 65 yards! Lawrence in the pocket play action, we'll see him down the field, got some room to run, now guns one. Post route man there, Bob, and into the end zone, 65 yard Bob to T. Higgins. Over JT Ebay on the play, with all kinds of time and a pinpoint throw. The extra point can make it 14 0 Tigers. That'd have been my house. They were going to throw deep in because you know, there's not a lot of energy in this place right now. And I think everybody knows that it's going to be hard for Carolina. They just need to go in and move and try to put it away quick. That was silly, wasn't it? And another negative play as Feaster is wrapped up in the backfield by Rudolph, a loss of five. It's another lost yardage play, just absolutely off the edge, getting crushed. It looked like they knew we were going to run that time. It was just, it was just embarrassing. <laughs> That's what it was. <laughs> Pressure coming off the edge here. Everybody covered. Halinski is sacked. Back inside the 25, Isaiah Simmons in the backfield again. Boy, is he special. Here's Halinski on third down and added. Rusher and Halinski's in trouble. And they sack, brought down behind the 25 yards. He held the football again. Isaiah Simmons with about the third big play he's made. Minus five on the play. And here's the punting situation for the Gamecocks. They shift to Mari Rogers into the backfield and pitch it to him. So he's got running room. Fresh out of downs on first down. Here's Dixon trying to get the perimeter. He's into South Carolina territory. So a gain of about 14 yards. First down. And the speed of Clemson really starting to show here as Lawrence throws here on first down. And wide open in the middle of the field is Ross. Easy pitch and catch. South Carolina rushes three here on third and long. Lawrence stepping up. Wide open. First down. Higgins at the 40-yard line. And up to the 46. So third down and 15. And they end up getting 27 yards. McQuamu chased that post. This is a post corner route. And watch McQuamu in one on one. He just gets turned around. Lawrence throwing it downfield. And it's caught. Ross. It's down the Tiger sideline. Got a man there with the inbounds. Justin Ross. And it is a completion at the Carolina 21 yard line. My good boy. Oh, the mercy. What a year. What a year. Boy, the Tigers have got a receiving crew, don't they? Lawrence had trouble with the snap. Scoops, throws, caught, out of bounds, incomplete. Ooh, you see him secure the catch. That right foot does appear like it landed in bounds. Ah, he didn't look like he didn't get his left foot down. Uh, who knows with this group? There's a play. It's a touchdown. Touchdown, Clemson. Wow. That's talent. Give Trevor Lawrence credit. Low snap, had to pick it up, threw it back in the end zone, got Justin Ross. And that makes it 20 to three with the extra point upcoming. Malinsky in the pocket, in trouble, drop. Minus eight on the play. He's in the pocket, screen play right side, Rico Dow. Got one blocker out there. They run into each other. Rico with a cut back to the 25. Man, offensive linemen running into each other instead of getting blocked. That sack on the first down again. Lawrence. And hits Overton for a first down at midfield. And the clock will stop here as they reset the chains. It's a gain of 20 on the play. Already leading by 18. Lawrence moving to his left in trouble. But able to elude a sack. Trying to get out of bounds here. And he does. Man, goodness, can he escape with those long strides, I guess. 14 seconds remaining in the half. That was a six-yard gain. He Ran about 25 yards, but he got away from a bunch of game cops. Potter on for a 46-yard field goal attempt with two seconds to go. And 
it's a beautiful kick by Potter. 24-3. Clemson as Lawrence finishes the half, completing his last 12 passes. And he had three touchdowns in that first half. 16 touchdowns, no picks in his last four and a half games. And Ryan, the true freshman, parents moved here to Columbia to be with him. Throws it downfield and incomplete, trying to hit Shai Smith. Bring up third down and seven. How about Isaiah Simmons? Their best pass rusher is in coverage on a wide receiver downfield. And covered it beautifully, too. Was beat initially, but did a good job of once he caught up to Shai Smith. Third down and seven. Holinsky over the middle, knocked away from Markway, incomplete. Kayvon Wallace broke up the pass. And a three and out by South Carolina to start the second half. Clemson has won each of those games by 30 or more points. Lawrence from the pocket, dumps it off to ETN. And a good open field tackle by Ernest Jones. He'll throw it here on first down. Hits Ross out to midfield. He'll throw it here on second and short looking downfield. And pitch and catch to Ross with McWamu trying to cover him. Just makes every throw look simple. Gain of 15. A comeback route off scramble. Always under control. He makes it look easy. But third down in for South Carolina's defense. The pitch by Lawrence and Etienne with a burst of speed gets the first down inside the 15 yard line. Eight of 18 on third down. First down and goal. ETN walking in. Touchdown Clemson. Touchdown Clemson. Travis ETN, his 15th rushing touchdown this season. Rogers comes in motion. ETN right side in the end zone. From two yards out, a sweep. And it's 30 to 3. You guys, on that last defensive series for South Carolina, I walked around to the back end line because I wanted to get a close look at their eyes. And this is a dejected defense. When that score happened for Clemson, you could see the wind taken out of their sail. The penalties have mounted, but it's the body language in the eyes of the faces in those face masks that you can just see that was it. When that score happened, that was it. As a Feaster is brought down for a loss, going to bring a fourth down. ETN trying to get the perimeter, and he does. Gain of eight. Dump pass to Powell and knocked it to the bounds at 39. Nowhere to go but down, boys. He's doomed. <laughs> Arcway at the 27 yard line. Easter gets it again. And in the backfield, Jake Venables, son of defensive coordinator Brent Venables, makes the tackle. No gain. A lot of reserves getting some play now, guys, particularly on the defensive side. This is a team in Clemson. Played more freshmen than any other team in America because they can. Here's Holinsky from the pocket, throws in traffic, and incomplete. <laughs> Again, you got Isaiah Simmons. Look how far downfield number 11 is. And Lawrence going to throw it. Now takes off and tucks. You see a little acceleration at the end. Well, the other thing is if you if you make a move, there's no guarantee you're going to get a better coach. Right, because when they hired Muschamp last time, there were some other names that you know turned it down because they didn't think they could win here. Lawrence steps up, takes off again, and picks up another first down. Boy, he does such a good job of avoiding hits. And again, there were defenders at his feet, and he runs for 18 yards. Trevor Lawrence now is their leading rusher. Six carries for 51 yards. Final minute here of the third quarter, and they run another trick play, a reverse to Rodgers with Lawrence out there, quote-unquote, blocking. <laughs> He's just trying to get out of the way as Rodgers is inside the 35-yard line, a 22-yard run. Yeah, if I'm Trevor Lawrence, I'm going, I'm standing about eight yards out of bounds. I'm not saying, look, Mari, you got this, man. ETN here inside the 30-yard line. Inside the game, got 10. Option play left side, Lawrence got to the 10, the 5, diving. Down to about the three-yard line. There's ETN. And he's into the end zone for the touchdown. Touchdown Clemson. 16th rushing touchdown for Travis ETN this season. Yes. And the new ACC record, 53rd for his career. ETN. 
touchdown. Tigers roll by their quarterback, Trevor Lawrence. Throwing the football and running it himself. He's got him up 37 to 3. 1156 to go in the ball game. You know, this is about as quiet as I've ever remember being at the Carolina Clemson game. I know. Tommy, no matter where it was. No matter where you're exactly right. As Halinski on fourth down, throws incomplete. Clemson going to take over on downs. Mike Jones with a pass breakup. And Clemson's on its way to 12 and 0 with one more game to go against Virginia in the ACC title game. Wow. Turnover on downs and Clemson allowed the football. How far are we? What's the difference here? Why? What are they doing sitting at number three in the country? And what do we need to do to make that up? Well, what do you want me to do, Rob? I think it's a, it, there's not any one answer. It's like anything when you turn it around. It, it's a combination of a lot of different things. There's no silver bullet. Clearly, there's a talent gap. That's the number one recruiting class in the country. Basically, they're winning because they got the four best players on the field at any given time. Lawrence, particularly, he's played as good as I've seen as any quarterback in the state in a long time. So the Tigers going to win for the first time since the 1930s when they went six straight in the series. Continue the streak. They also go to, I think, 27 straight games in which they have won, dating back to 2016. And win the Palmetto Bowl. Turner up the middle. And that ought to do it. It does. And across the field they come. Clemson 38, Carolina 3. You know, we just didn't play well that week, but um, you know, that's our big, you know, our big quote, you know, going in this year. Is just, you know, somebody, we just thought we got outward, you know, out. So, you know, our big thing is, you know, never again will we be, be outward. Never again will we be, you know, out competed on a game like that. It all stems from that game, just. Because at the end of the game, everyone knew that you know they weren't that much better than us or better than us at all. At all. Clemson is scared to death of Will Muschamp's progress. That's a big part of this game as well. I'm not sure they all believe it's going to be this year, but they do not want to give him a step up again on what he's already done. There's been few that have won eight or more in their second season, and they feel Coach Muschamp and his staff coming on. It's a never again mentality is that we've got to close the gap, and anybody that was back the game. You can see there's a gap. Uh, there's a big gap in, in talent and a big gap with facilities and you know there's a, there's a gap right now. We've got to close the gap and we're doing it. They do not want to give them the title of, oh, by the way, we took Clemson out of the college football playoff in, their, in our second year. We're the up and coming team. They're cycling out, we're cycling in. That's a big part of the fear of the Tigers right now. Let's be legendary. Let's go be great.